Good morning. So the Balchayv Savava started yesterday with the fourth Hakdama on the idea that a person must fulfill the obligations brought to us in the Torah from HaKadosh Baruch Hu in order for the Betochen relationship to work. And he says, If a person trusts in Hashem that while I will do I'll do whatever I want. I won't do the mitzvahs. And still Hashem will deliver. How can a person think that way? Bring us an example. Imagine if one person tells another, please do so and so, please go to the grocery and pick something up for me. And that person goes and he doesn't do it. Not for a particular reason because it was hard or something else like that. But just because, you know what, I was in the grocery and I saw what you wanted and I decided I'm not bringing it. Of course, this is something that's going to cause harm in that relationship. If a person has trust in Hashem and at the same time is even on the mitzvahs that HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, I'm going to reward you or punish you for doing what says in the Torah. Then a person at the same time says, you know what, I'm going to ignore what you told me. I'm going to ignore that you said that if I do Averis, there's going to be a punishment. I'm going to ignore what you said that if I do mitzvahs, there's going to be a reward. But at the same time, I trust that you will do whatever I want want. says such a person cannot be called show the exact opposite, the punishment that's going to come on such a person. Now, of course, there were those who held that a person can have been talking even in a matzav like this. That even a ganav who is trying in the middle of stealing something can have been talking that Hashem will help him and it will work. But Kavayoch, there, there might be a machloikis here between Rabbi Nebachi and those who are showing it, but the emphasis is that it might go a step further. Because the truth is that when a person is in that matzav, for that moment that he turns to Hashem and he davens to Hashem and he puts his trust in Hashem, for that moment he is a betach Hashem. But of course his actions are before and after might show otherwise. But for that moment at least is a betach Hashem. But this is of course Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar is warning us against. That a person cannot walk around and say, I'll do whatever I want and I have betachin. Betachin comes with the understanding and the akdome that I believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah. And he told us what to do and what not to do. And therefore I must do what he said. And with that, betachin can flourish. Have a wonderful day.